Good morning from Chile, Ireland, uh, Denver, that is. Uh, boy, we've been having days and days, weeks after weeks of nice, just soft, gentle, day-long rains. And uh, things around here are, are green, and I, I kept wondering, when are we going to get more leaves? But since we had snow last night, I'm, I'm glad that the leaves were just still waiting a little bit. Uh, but so grateful for all this moisture, and please God, send some for the rest of the state and the rest of the West, and California and elsewhere. Um, we're, we're grateful for this rain. So this morning I came in to uh, look to see what the next psalm would be, um, if we had been continuing, and it would be number 60. And I read it and went, ugh. <laughs> I, I don't know why I keep opening the psalms of the day and thinking, uh, not this one today. Uh, but then I'll go and I'll read other versions of it and other ways people have uh, turned it into prayers and so forth. And boy, I found the one for today, Psalm 60 by Martha Spong in the book she edited called The Words of Her Mouth. And I think this is, this is so right on. The news cycle feels like a movie, and we are all Bill Murray in Groundhog Day. The same things happening over and over, a spiral of accusations and misinterpretations from the angry, the outraged, the dastardly, and conscience-free. Your wisdom, God, does not elicit clicks and shares and retweets. It does not go viral. The ones who could bring attention to what matters do not choose to do so. Do not choose you. They choose themselves. We need the revelation that transforms lives. And here it is. Care for others changes everything. Help us, Holy One. Our hope, our only hope is in you. Our only hope is in following the wisdom of the creator of this universe we share with one another and the revelation that would in fact transform this world is caring for others first would change everything that's not to put aside our own our own needs that's not to say you know i don't matter it is to say our fundamental outlook all of us toward one another toward caring would be what changes this world in the positive way we all hope. And with that, I pray you have a grateful day. Bye.